Hi everybody, I'm in my greenhouse. I'm gonna show you how I'm planting these seeds. I'm just gonna show you by, I have a, a bucket of dirt down here and I took some boiling hot water. This is just regular potting soil that you um, buy at the store to start your seeds in. And I put them in this big bucket here and then um, because I'm doing it inside, I took some boiling water and put it in the soil just enough to get it really wet and let it soak it up. And then the boiling water kills off any of the little bugs in it. So you don't create any um, like bugs flying around because we're inside. So I just take my little cups and I fill it up, smash it down. I just keep packing it in and I get them pretty full, probably almost to the top. So it looks like that. And then I'll just pack them in and I just put them in the tray. It's just regular potting soil that you would buy at the store, make sure it has good peat moss in it. To Hold the moisture and what I've done because we have a colder day is I just took a heating pad and I put it underneath my seeds to try to heat it up in here which has been really um, helpful but I I just started that today so this new seedling that's growing it didn't have any heat it's just what was in the greenhouse so it's been doing really well inside I'm just packing them in. And what I'm gonna plant here is uh, some celery seed. So, so far we have artichokes, asparagus, onions, and according to my schedule that I am going by off of Mary's Heirlooms, um, I went on her website and she has a little schedule on there according to your zone you can see how to plant your seeds and that's what I'm going off of this year. We'll see how good it works. But for February to start indoors, it just says to start, um, it's asparagus, onions, and celery that it says. But because I wanted to do artichokes, I added that one on because I know it takes a long time. Um, the idea I got about the soil so that you can kill off the bugs in it and you don't get any extra little bugs flying around while you're trying to start your seeds. I got it from my gardener. I was watching a YouTube video on it and he says that you just take a pot of boiling water, enough to get the soil wet. You pour it in. You probably watch his video. It'd probably be more helpful. But um, you pour it in the soil just to get it wet enough. Don't over soak it. And then you pack it down real tight so that it's really hot and then it'll kill off any of those seeds or the little eggs that are in there. Yeah. And so far I haven't had a problem with bugs yet. So I guess it does work. We got, oh, it just opened it so it's upside down, but celery seeds from my gardener. <laughs> I always open the bottom because the top has a lot of information on it. So I don't, I don't want to get, um, lose that information. So I'll open the bottom and then I put it in a Ziploc bag. I think I'm going to put, they're so small. They're such small seeds. I'm going to put probably two seeds in each one, just, and I have 12, 12 pots I'm going to do, just in case one doesn't germinate, I'll have a couple in there, but we'll see how it goes because um, they're pretty small. And I think what I'll do is I'll just, I have this little thing off of a pin, and I just stir the top, 
so that we can loosen the soil. And I just loosen the soil on all of them, and then I'm going to put some seeds in there. One, two. Some of them I'm getting more than two because it's hard to do because they're so small. But we'll try to get what we can out of here and then we'll just thin them out. All right. We have my seeds back. And I'll just put the rest in there. And then I'll put them in a Ziploc bag so that my greenhouse is kind of small. That's why it's hard to uh, film in here. But I'll just cover them up with this soil and then um, see how they grow. And I don't think that I touched on how I'm watering them. So I have moist soil from when I put the hot water in the soil. Um, the soil is pretty moist. And then I have three layers here. Well, two layers. So I have the hard one that's solid. It doesn't have any holes in it. And this one holds these cups. And then I have the cups. So the cups sit inside the tray and the tray sits inside this one. I believe it's a 1020 tray and it doesn't have any holes in it. And so because the soil is moist, I feed water in through an empty hole here and it just holds enough water and then the soil will pull the moisture up. I don't water from the top. You just start with the um, moist soil. And I've just learned that over watching some YouTube videos and people, how they grow their plants. I've just been trying to learn how to do seeds the best way. This is the first year I've actually done. I'm going to do all of my plants from seed, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. But so far, so good. I mean, I already have an artichoke growing, so I'm excited about that. Okay, so I got those planted. I need to make some tag shrum. I'm going to make some tag shrum and then we'll put them in. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're putting the tags in. I bought these off of Amazon. And they're like a pack of, I think they're a pack of a thousand or something. Oh, maybe 500. Probably a pack of 500 for like six or seven bucks. And then I'll just write what this actually is. I'll grab the label and I will write Utah Celery. And then I put my gardener on the bottom so I know what seed it is. So I just write them like this. And then I'll put it inside of the pot as I have them here. So I just kind of write who they're from so that I can keep track this summer of how I like the seeds coming up or how they, how they germinated, if I want to buy more of those. Um, and that should be it. That's all I'm, oh, I did want to show you. I got these at um, Walmart today. Zinnias, but they're the candy cane mix. I remember Jessica from Roots and Refuge. She was talking about these last summer and These are so pretty and I found some and I'm excited to try them Thanks, Jessica
I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna what I'm growing so far. We have artichokes from my gardener. And I have a little Ziploc bag because I cut up the bottom, cut open the bottom so that um, I could get the seeds out. And then I put it in a little Ziploc bag, a little snack bag from Walmart. So we have artichokes. We have asparagus from my gardener. They're all from my gardener except for a couple of them. And then we have onions. And these are yellow sweet Spanish Utahs. We have onions, ruby red long day. I have white sweet Spanish. I have um, red burgundy onion from Mary's Heirloom. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to try a little variety of a different, there's three, I think three or four, there's four different companies that I bought from this year. It's Mary's Heirloom Seeds, My Gardener Seeds. Um, I have forgotten heirlooms also. I have everything bagged up that I'm gonna start seeds for next month. I'm starting seeds for next month in this bag. And I have forgotten heirloom seeds. And what else did I, oh, one more company I did buy from. Baker Creek, thank you Baker Creek. I got a bunch of cool stuff from you guys when I put in my order. I got a bunch of extra stuff. Thank you, seeds and all that. So I'm excited to try them. But this actually is my bag of pepper seeds that I'm gonna try to start next month. I think I'm over like 50 different seeds. So I think I have a plan, but if anybody has any ideas on how to do peppers, that would be great. My plan, for the garden is that I am gonna start on one end of the garden and do the hottest pepper and go all the way to the other end of the garden and do the mildest pepper. I'm worried about cross pollination. Um, I think that if I do it this way that it won't get cross pollinated so easily. But if anybody has any ideas on how to grow peppers and the easiest way to not get them cross pollinated, that would be great. I'm really excited about peppers. I love peppers. Um, I have been collecting these peppers throughout the year. I started like at the end of last summer. So I think I have a bunch of them and Forgotten Heirlooms has sent me, well, I ordered them. Has, I have ordered a bunch of peppers from Forgotten Heirlooms that have crossbreeds like um, habanero and jalapeno and um, there's another one I have. Let me see if I can find it. They have a bunch of, oh, there's an evil jalapeno. Oh, there's a ghost pepper and a jalapeno. So do I plant the ghost pepper jalapeno by the jalapenos or do I plant the ghost pepper by the ghost pepper? Or let me say that again. Do I plant the ghost pepper jalapeno by the ghost peppers or do I plant it by the jalapenos? How am I gonna do that? So are they supposed to be hot? Are they supposed to be mild? Um, where should I plant them? If you guys have any ideas, give me some ideas. I have 50 different pepper plants and I think my garden is 40 by 80. So I think I'm gonna start at one end and plant the hottest and end it with the mildest. If that's a good idea, we'll try it. It's gonna be an experiment this year, but I'm excited to try every single china pepper plant I have. But um, yeah, that's all I got going on today. It's snowing outside, hopefully we'll stay warm inside. Got a fire going. And uh, keep watching these uh, plants that I got going on right here and see what else comes up. Right now I got artichokes, yay! All right, you guys. You guys have a good day. Thanks for hanging out with us here at the ranch. 
I hope you guys are having good luck with your seeds. Bye-bye.